And you have to know that. And last night we saw WWE again. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter who's booking. Doesn't matter who has the lead pen. And I don't want to hear about, oh, you got to see what's going on here. You got to be patient. You got to wait for the long-term storytelling. It's been 945 days. I quite frankly don't fucking care about a thousand days. I'm done with Reigns, done. And don't get me wrong, he's fun to watch. I love the bloodline. And I think he really has developed since the Shield days and since he first started to be a singles competitor after the big push, after the Shield broke up. I think he has taken leaps and bounds. But it's time for something else. I mean, for the love of God. And what they did last night, what Paul Levesque did last night was he sacrificed Cody Rhodes so Roman Reigns can get to a thousand days. And I'm sitting there and I'm watching WrestleMania last night with my brother. My brother goes, Cody's going to win. And why, why wouldn't Cody win? And I'm like, well, guarantee you. I could see Roman winning. Because they wanted to get to 1,000 days. And sure as shit, that's what happened. And my thing is this. Two questions. If not now, when? And if not Cody, then who? And people go, oh, well, you know, if you're going to give up on Cody after one loss, you built him up so much into this superhero into this, into that, just for him to be another loss to Roman Reigns. I mean, it's tiring at this point. It's fucking tiring. So we gotta wait now till SummerSlam? And what? And who's it gonna be? Listen, Gunther, I would love to see Gunther dethrone him. But really, uh, what, what other options are there? I feel like you so you fucked up the Sami Zayn thing where you can't go back to Sami Zayn. Seth Rollins is like 2017. He's done. I don't, don't care about Orton dethroning him. I mean, again, if, if they built something up with Co I mean, I would be interested in that. I, I just really, I, I'm done. I said to myself last night, I said, you know what? When someone tells me that Roman lost the title, then maybe I'll start watching the regular product again. I, it, 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 I, I can't. I can't. It's just, it's so asinine. And also, let me say this. WrestleMania 1, um, I'm, WrestleMania Night 1, so much better. I mean, you know you kicked it out of the park when Brian Alvarez, who is an AEW mark, is sitting there praising the freaking thing on Saturday night. That's when you know you did good. They had so much momentum going in. And then they just died like a dog on Sunday. Oh, God. terrible show. Terrible. And Reigns and Rhodes was a great match. It was such a shit ending. From a guy that they threw out. Come on. Come on. So now we know now that Reigns will get to a thousand days. That we know. So it's like, why bother watching? Why? By last night's win, you know he's not losing until at least SummerSlam. And please, for the love of God, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I will take everything WWE I have and I will freaking burn it in the streets. If we gotta wait another year at WrestleMania 40, and they go, well, we're going to have The Rock to throw him. I'm done. I'm done then. I'm absolutely done. We're going to have a guy who will be a year older and wait a whole another year because he hasn't been ready or hasn't wanted to face Roman Reigns the last two, three WrestleManias. Come on. You can't do that to us. You can't do that to the fan base. 
Now, am I confident in Triple H? I don't know. I have no, I have no clue. He's done some great things. He's done some shitty things. What does the future hold for the company? Are they being sold to UFC's parent company? So I, I, don't know, I don't know what to expect. But don't sit there and give me the long-term storytelling. We've been long-term storytelling for 945 days. Have them drop the goddamn belt already. Enough. Enough.